signature <laughs> grab. She asked me if I had a big Yes. yes. You're good looking. She'll take a picture with you with her hand over your From employing Let some of the riskiest tattooing methods to touching fathers and their son's private areas, often around children, this is the dark side of Apo Wangodi, the world's oldest tattoo artist. This woman is 108 years old, born in the mountain jungle of the Philippines. Her father was renowned for tattooing without a machine, using only a needle from a tree, ink from charcoal, and a hitting stick. At 11, she began learning her father's art, becoming the village's primary tattoo artist by 25, adorning warriors to honor their victories over enemies. However, tragedy struck at the same age, Wang Odi lost her beloved boyfriend, Ambatang, in a logging accident before their marriage. Since then, she has neither married nor had children. Frustrated, she sought solace in her work until gaining recognition in the popular 2007 TV series, Tattoo Hunter, which became a calling card for actors, media personalities, and influencers. However, this was discovered. She uses the same needle from person to person to person. People bring needles. We have needles. The thorns right here. But she's refused every needle, every thorn that's been brought to her. I wouldn't have let her near me after learning that she doesn't change the needle. Say hello to hepatitis B. Those are comment on fearless and far video titled Wang Odi Tattoo Gone Wild. However, the wildness portrayed in the video wasn't solely focused on the unchanged needle. Instead, Wang Odi's unconventional behaviors. <laughs> she doesn't like having <laughs> You got a big one? It's even more unsettling that Wang Odi does this in the presence of children. Take look this seven-year-old girl came to watch her grandmother touching 32 years old man. <laughs> <laughs> did, oh. did you just, did she ask me if I had a big p Yes. Oh my like, god, like, I'm so she, embarrassed she, right now. It was 30 seconds after she did this around a nine-year-old boy. <laughs> While those children were still around, she went on to show Mike's size. Is that what she did? That's she measured she and she said it was small? Yeah, she is. My is like, what? It's like that big? No, it's bigger than that. It's, it's this big. Keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going. It's this big. That's, that's how big it is. Please keep small children away. She's definitely the relative you don't keep your kids around or allow to babysit. At least Fearless and Far did an excellent job of considering viewer discretion on the video, unlike many other YouTubers, who liberate Wang Odi videos despite including a clip where Oppo say stuff like this around minors. She asked me if you were married and if you're a <laughs> big. My <view. laughs> Depending to some criteria we'll see later, Oppo may need physical contact. As you can observe, the driving force is irresistible. <laughs> if she touched me like that, It seems like their body does respond. Just because she is an elderly woman, doesn't mean she can just touch people like that. I think we need to let Oppo know she can't touch people like that. It doesn't matter if you are a father, a son, or grandpa. A grab is like welcome. Bongo did her signature <laughs> grab. All the tourists that come here, she she kind of does that as a, as a thank you for coming. I don't care how old and sweet she is. This still feels weird as F. The critique doesn't center on physical contact, but rather on subsequent events. She knows what she's doing, 12,000 likes. This has convinced me that an old woman can get away with anything. Take a look at this display of fervor. A heart speed to the city streets We begin to feel the fire People like to mess up with balls so much that she can even do it without asking. Take a close look at this clip where Oppo intrude famous YouTuber Drew Binsky. Look at the blood that comes off on it. Oh. <laughs> While Drew was busy showing her his bleeding tattoo, 
grandma's attention was elsewhere. This shows diverse of culture. Numerous comments suggest that touching is perceived as a traditional way for elders to honor the younger generation. However, there are contrasting views within the Filipino community. As a Filipino, there's a lot of non-Filipinos saying that this is a part of our culture or tradition. I'm confused. I'm Filipino, born and raised in the Philippines, this is not normal or traditional. In the article title Body Ethics, this popular Filipino media that write about culture state the following, we need to have a very strong and clear message for children, no one, not even their own parents, has the right to touch their genitals. It was a couple of sentences following multiple stories of women who were arrested after being found grabbing children. If touching children isn't promoted, what about 20 or 30 years old men, fathers, even elders? <laughs> Might be its culture, but at least a way of child. While we're waiting real Filipinos to tell us if it's their culture, there is one comment in particular that keeps repeating, she does that to everyone she's attracted to, the very same words were repeated by a respected famous YouTuber, P. Shea, within her impactful video, Apo Wango D touched me. You see, Apo has a tendency for touching. If you're good looking, she'll take a picture with you with her hand over your crotch. If Apo goes on good looking people, that may pose question if it's still a tradition. Video proposed another factor, which got another criticism from Filipino. Touching is not a tradition here in finding out one's gender. Please do not tell people that this action is endearing, for they might get the wrong idea, hence the Philippines taking blame for your mistake. The fact that Apo touched both men and women may imply that she is not driven by sexual desire, especially considering that this desire ceased after she lost her boyfriend. However, these behaviors have raised concerns not only about her personal reputation but also about the general perception of Filipinos. This concern is evident within the extensive discussion of 12,000 comments on Piche's video titled, Wang O.D. Touched Me. There's an expectation that she might address this, as she adapted changing needle after her client's suggestions. Oh, I get to keep this. Is this the one that she did on me? Yeah. Oh, cool. <laughs> wow. After every tattoo, Wangode gives you the bamboo stick as a souvenir to take home. 